Well, this place has changed a little bit over the years. The capital in Zambonga, Sibuga, Ipil is beautiful. These are the Bagongan. Yes, sir. These are the ones. Oh my gosh. It's a whole bag. I got a whole bag of Bagongan. These are the shells that they turned into chicharron and they're super good. City of Smiles, Bacolod, 11 a.m. I stayed here at an Airbnb last night. Just wrote a lot of stories, relaxed a little bit, edited some videos. And this here, I believe, is the new government center. You can see the big city hall, city of Bacolod. Every time I come here, something comes up. But at least it's making me smile. I have to drive south, and I gotta go pretty quick, so. Yeah, 220 kilometers to Dumaguete. It's 11 a.m. now. There's an 8 p.m. fast count at that Pitan. I gotta try and get that. But hold it. Thanks for being a stopover. But again, no adventuring here this time. Let's head south. Currently taking the most economical, quickest route to Dumaguete, uh, driving down the coast here through all the small towns. Uh, Bago, Pulupandan, uh, Valladolid, and I think I'm approaching San Enrique. I'm gonna try and find somewhere to eat soon. Just taking a quick little detour here in Ponte Vedra. Only a couple hundred meters up the highway, you hit the coastline. You know it is a windy day when the birds can't even fly. They're kind of stuck there, just floating over the ocean. This is called Eleven Cafe. I saw it on Google Maps, I pulled in, and the Ate and the young girl working in the kitchen over there are so friendly. Their menu here is really good. They actually have quite a few things, including a lot of fresh fruit shakes. So I got a mango shake, and uh, I got some salted egg chicken wings, and then I really wanted gulai, but, they didn't really have any available on the menu, but Ate is going to make me pepino, kamates, whatever, like a kini lao without the fish. So like a salad with vinegar, uh, which is why I'm stoked on them, they're awesome. So I'm just waiting here, got my number, 52. Everything keeps flowing away. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I think they even put a little bit of salted egg. There's onions, there's radishes, there's camates, there's pepino. Mm. And the local vinegar. When I was driving up here, there's a lot of talaba, like the uh, oysters or clams. And so they definitely have good vinegar in this area. But that is a little bit halang. This is an incredible salad. They don't have gulai in the menu in the Philippines. Just ask if they can make a vinegar salad with pepino and onions and all this. It is awesome. Mm.
just a tubo clearing fire. <laughs> Couple things. Number one, hashu brittle is absolutely addictive and so energizing. If you're wondering what's keeping me going, this is from Kuyo Islands. Palawan is famous for its cashews. I got a whole bunch of pasta lubong, but some random local, thank you so much, came up to me before I left Kuyo and gave me this. Um, next thing, that's the second highest mountain here in Negros Island. It's called Mount Tellinis. It's 6,243 feet. Absolutely beautiful stretch of road right now. Uh, I just drove through Tanai. I actually passed through Baiz as well. I may be only 45 minutes to Dumaguete, but this section right here is so beautiful. There's even a rainbow, a nice home with the fish ponds over there. It's just awesome. I'm gonna keep chowing these cashew brittles. High fat, high sugar. I'll be in Jimmy Getsay soon. Did you guys just see the truck? I absolutely love the writing that people put on their vehicles here in the Philippines. Kiss, distance, and then a giant Batman. Just, just love it. About to be the moment of truth. 5:30, fast guy ticket in office. Like I'll be here, sir. All right, the pizza, sir. Oh, no. Yes. Okay, they have one. Interesting. The first thing you got to do is bring your ORCR to the guard before you log in for fast guy. Only takes a couple of minutes. You just grab a little cargo entry pass thing from the guard. Now we go book the ticket. I have about one hour. I'm just cruising down the boulevard in Dumaguete, trying to find somewhere to eat. Remember two years ago I went to Negrense randomly, it's the local draft brewery pub here. This time I didn't drink, I had Apa and Apa Motokwa and their burger, both were great. Really good pub food here and their beers, they had three on tap, uh, sometimes they have more. Highly suggest it. I gotta rush, back to the port at 7pm, my boat's at 8, we're going to Minden now. Double check twice. As soon as we arrived with the boat, it just hammered down rain. I had to drive seven and a half kilometers into the P10 city. I'm here at this place called the Traveling Bee, just a random spot I booked. I forgot it rains when you drive a motor. It's always just been wind, 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 wind this whole trip. I'm haggard. I'll see you in the morning. We're back on home turf. Mindanao, let's go. One more thing. 
It was roughly 2,700 pesos for myself and my motor from Dumaguete here to Dapitan. Now good night. <sighs>gotta be quick it's morning this is Dapitan city and this monument here is where Jose Rizal landed when he was exiled to Dapitan I think it was 1892 I'm just gonna run around the tour group quickly and check the marker July 17th 1892 to begin the life of exile in Dapitan uh, you can learn a lot going around this town, or this city, I should say, sorry. Uh, there's a lot of ancestral homes. There's an area where Rizal, I believe, had a school and a hospital and a clinic and all sorts of stuff. But you can look at my old videos and post about that because I gotta run away. The Ulan is coming. Let's go to the Polog. I'm gonna get something to eat for breakfast and coffee. <laughs>
something's going on, like an Arau or a festival. Are there any on Arau now? It's a Arau Sabugai or Ipil? Arau Sabugai. Oh, the whole province. Oh my gosh, I guess the foundation anniversary of the whole province. So there's a lot going on, but I can't kick around. I gotta keep going to the Zamboanga city. Although I might poke around a little bit down and chill and get something to eat. I don't know. It's four something in the afternoon here at the provincial capital. Tulusan, Olutanga. Okay, they have a bunch of really cool booths outside, so I'm just gonna pop around quickly and check some stuff, maybe buy something. Hello, po. Hello. In a sec, I'll just quickly check the booths and I'll come right back, promise. Malangas. Oh, this is nice. Oh my gosh. Inside Hopia? Hopia, Guava Jam. Inside Cafe? Products for my oh my gosh, I feel like I hit the jackpot. I need to shop quickly. One second, I don't have much space in my motor though. Say, young star apple, the best. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? One peso? No way, one, one peso for star fruit. Is it aslam? Tamis, Tamis, Tinod, it's the promise. Promise? Pretty a bray, pretty a bray. And say, and say process. How do I just yeah. straight up like this from the top? Oh, you pick the side. Okay, I've never done this properly. You pick the top. Last time I had one was in Samar. Oh, there, and then you open it up. Okay. One second. We're having a one peso Balimbing festival here. One second. I can just eat that. Try. Tam is delay. Tam is, tam is. Okay, man. Oh, it's worth the one peso. Can you eat the skin or that? Let's try. Let's see what Let's see what Trisha. Trisha? Yes, bro. Okay, you're from Kabasalan? Yes. Well, show me something cool. Oh, hello. You're an agriculturist? Yes. Amazing. Awesome. I like how you said friend. She said friend. Hello. Uh, do you want to show me something cool from Cabo Salad? Anything, you show me something cool. Yes, Talaba. Oh, of course, that's what makes you... Oh, you're the area with all the fish ponds. Yes, Sakto. I think my friend went there. We declared that's the juiciest and most delicious type. Pancit. Pancit. Rubber. Wait, this is rubber? Yes. I thought I was looking at seaweed, but there you go. This is rubber. Just straight from the tree, Diba. Yes. yes. Straight from the tree hardened. I've seen before how it comes out, but I've never seen it just like this in a big clump. You guys just sell it like this? Oh, yeah. Yes. Wait. Yes, sir. Uh, for 25 pesos. For a bundle? No. Uh, for a kilo? Oh, for a fourth of a kilo. Cool. Halling, yes. sir. I'll have to. I don't think I've ever. What is this? What's in it? This is bangongon. What? And say bangongon. Bangongon, you sell in color. But this, oh, this is like. as chips, though? Yes, yes sir. Chicharon. Try it. Try it. You mean chicharon bagong? One second. Bangon. Really? Yes, sir. Must try. Okay, I'm gonna buy some. Is it gonna be Baho or Dili? Medio? Let's see. No, 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 crispy. Crispy? Yes. Oh, it's not Baho at all. That's delicious. My first time having a chicharron shell that's bagongan. Bagongan? Yes, sir. Bagongan, it's so hard with the NG. How is it? Yeah, it's actually really good. It just yes, needs sir. vinegar. For 20 pesos, yeah. It just needs suka. Yeah. Suka. Like suka? These are super good. These are the bagongan. Yes, sir. These are the ones. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is the one to you. They're good for soup, soup. Tima? Tina? Tina? Soup, soup, but. No way. Naga has the biggest cassava I've ever seen in my life. And that's super important you know that. Holy smokes. Is that like the Pinaka biggest? I don't think I've ever seen a cassava that big. could feed a whole family. They could feed a whole barangay. Is that kagang? Like crabs? No. Let's say. Hello, po. Oh, peanut cookies. 
What's your name? Coconut toffee, like Bukayo? I like how you name I like how you name it coconut toffee. <laughs> What's that made out of? Bunny. Is it a, actually a Banig shirt? <laughs> yes, sir. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Banig shirt. That's pretty cool. That's like what is it? What is this? A Banig dress? No way. I'm gonna take photos of this in a sec. That's so cool. Holy smokes. Kaba Salan has a coconut gown and this is blowing my mind. Look at this. That is so cool. No way. That's awesome. Did somebody wear that already? Yes, sir. Was it like as part of a pageant? Or? Yes, sir. That's so cool. For like three times. What's your name again? Is Krisha. It? Krisha. <laughs> Krisha or Trisha? Krisha. Krisha, Krisha yes, for the past like 20 minutes, she's been the <laughs> ultimate sidekick. Thank you so much. Salama. <laughs> I'll open it up later. That's really cool. You make them yourself? Yes. What That's are they exactly? What is this? Um, our store is called Iblings. Okay. And and is this like local from Ebil? Yes. That's cool, man. This guy just gave me this awesome kind of bracelet thing. I'm gonna look at it later. Thanks, bro. So, <laughs> yo, what's up, guys? Get the Ilongo. 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 I took some Marco Geek and Dumagete costume to the beach. Mang Motor. Mang Motor, but actually, all the way from Palawan. Super cool. Uh, I spent about 45 minutes, probably 30 minutes having random conversations quickly and taking pictures. The other 15 checking out some products. There's 16 municipalities. I've been to probably half of them, but there's quite a few in the coast I haven't. I'll be back. I'm gonna check it out. And Ping Bread, Salama, and Pinga. So strange, I feel socially awkward when I take my headband off but my helmet was on. Um, the giant obelisk. Look, I'll talk to you guys when I get to Zambonga City. Got a three hour drive, the sun's going down. I've done this road many times, all is good. I have many friends along the way. See you when I get there. Buenvenidas, buenos dias, good morning. We made it to Zamonga City. I'm happy I took some video clips of that drive. Originally, I wasn't going to, I was just gonna drive here, I had to get here, but I didn't want everyone just to think, hey, you know what, boom, Colossus in Zamonga City. What I wanted you to see was that I just parted along. I just drove across the country, it was chill, I looked at some stuff, I ate a lot of food, that might have been sort of a boring video, just like drone shot, driving, eat something, drone shot, driving, eat something, but it was very real. It was just a guy driving across the Philippines, being relaxed, enjoying it, appreciating this country and the sights, all the way down to Zambonga City. Somebody is coming in this evening and we're about to do something really amazing. And I'm super excited for what lies ahead. But in the meantime, I just gotta work, I gotta write stories, I gotta edit some stuff. Got to keep eating, keep drinking coffee, and keep appreciating, uh, you know, the world around me and you know, life here in the Philippines. So, thanks for coming along that little drive. Expect something really cool to happen in coming days. In the meantime, I need to recover, relax. I can't believe Sabuga is celebrating their foundation. My gosh. Sai Young, you're not going to see this video in time for me to tell you to go there, but... Power on, power on. <laughs> 